This happened to me on a trip to Lyon, France. I was traveling solo from the States and had booked to stay with this old couple in their house. I say old, they must have been in their mid-sixties. It was a new listing and only had a couple of reviews, but they were both really positive. From the photos, I could tell that this place wasn't exactly a five-star joint, but for the price, it was a steal and in a great location to boot. On that first night when I arrived, the older couple actually made dinner for me. It was a nice touch, and who was I to refuse? Their English was decent, so we chatted and shared a few stories, and afterwards I went to explore the city and get a few drinks. I must have returned around 10pm, and my hosts were nowhere to be seen. In bed asleep, I figured. The pair had told me at dinner to help myself to a little wine, which is precisely what I did when I got in. Nice folks. Afterwards, I went up to my bedroom to settle down myself. Now, I usually have trouble sleeping, but that night, I fell asleep with surprising ease. All the traveling that day had worn me out, and that little bit of wine probably helped too, I guess. I'm not sure what time it was, but I awoke in the night to a flash of lightning. You know when your eyes are closed, but you can still tell there was a flash of bright light. Well, it was just like that. I remained curled up in bed with my eyes still shut, waiting for the crash of thunder to come with it. I counted the passing seconds in my head. My mum always used to tell me that however many seconds there were between the lightning and thunder, that was how many miles away it had struck. So I'm there, counting away in my head. Five seconds, ten seconds, twenty, thirty. Huh, that's odd, I thought. No thunder. It was then, through closed eyelids, that I sensed another lightning flash. Again, I waited for the thunder, but it never came. I sat up in bed and opened my eyes, just to see if my sleep-hazed mind was playing tricks on me. It hadn't been. Inside my bedroom were my two hosts. Initially, I didn't realize just how bizarre this situation was. I was still in that confused, just out of sleep state. Even still... I knew there was something off about their expressions. As my eyes adjusted, I could tell what was wrong. They were both wearing masks. Latex masks of old human faces with exaggerated features. The flashes had been from the camera the woman was holding. They had been taking pictures of me whilst I slept. The husband was nearer to the bed than the wife though and he was in mid-step, moving closer. She was further back by the door. It was as if he wanted to be in the pictures. With me now awake, they both froze like a pair of mannequins. What do you want? At the time, I couldn't think of anything else to say. The adrenaline hadn't kicked in yet. I was more confused than freaked out. You're dreaming, said the male, his voice muffled behind the latex mask, then backing up towards the door. Good night. It wasn't until I noticed the metal wrench in the old man's hand that the situation fully dawned on me. I quickly gathered my shit and made for the front door, glancing around like crazy in case the old fucks tried to ambush me with the wrench from around a corner. Needless to say, I contacted the police immediately, though nothing ever came of it. My evidence was all anecdotal. The old geezers had been smart enough to delete all of the pictures. My complaints to Airbnb were largely ignored too, though the old couple did remove their listing from the site. I don't know what all of that was about. Some cult-like shit? A messed up fetish? Some fucking potential snuff pictures they were making. The old man was definitely in the shots, and it was clear that he was trying to step towards me quietly, wrench in hand. 
whatever the case, I'll never complain about being a light sleeper again. I still check Airbnb regularly, just to make sure they don't use it to lure anyone else in. <laughs>